YouTube, Marty here. Now I'm going to be tearing down my shocks, cleaning them up, putting new fluid in, just kind of, you know, maintaining them, keeping them going good. Alright, so here I got four big bores off of my Emacs. They're just off the rear end, so I'll get to the front end a little bit later. But basically to start, all we're going to do is start cleaning everything up really. I mean, take off your preload spacers if you got them. And don't shoot them off the screen. <laughs> got those all off. I'll just kind of clean it up some, get any like large debris, any dirt off. This one's got a big old chunk of dirt. Go ahead and take that right off there. Let's take off all of your end caps and springs. Give them a little bit of a wipe down. This one's got a little bit excess. Alright. What I'll do is I'll just kind of take them with a the towel. And we can really get all that dirt off. Okay. Nice and shiny. Once you got all your shocks ready to go, then we're going to take that a bit further and we're going to use some sort of spray cleaner. You can use like something like Windex, but I'm going to take it to this dynamite nitro force here it's used for your nitro car cleaner you know it's basic find at your local hobby shop okay it's just gonna be something a little bit more potent more or less just really clean it up good uh you can probably use something like carb cleaner or brake cleaner just from like for your real car all right so now just gonna take and spray pretty much your whole shock body all right all right good to go you can go ahead and twist off your cap okay so now you got your cap and your shock apart to set the cap to the side now I can tell here I'm a little bit low on fluid so it's probably perfect time to change now this is where this Mountain Dew bottle is going to come in handy I put a little water in the bottom just so it won't tip over on you and you're basically just going to drain it right on in here okay You don't have to get all of the fluid out, but just get a majority. Okay, so it's it's barely dripping. Alright, I'll just call it at that. There's the plunger at the end. Okay. So now, we're going to take fully extend it. Again, I'm using 40 weight fluid. I'm using this just because, and this is even on the light side for mine. I'm using, I got this in my Traxxas Emax. It's a little bit heavier truck. I should probably almost even use 50 weight, but I just grabbed this just because it was the next one. Anyway, base it pretty much off the size of your vehicle. I mean, you don't want too much resistance in there because then it's just going to be like you don't even have any springs at all so just you know you have to use good judgment i mean maybe look into it a little for what you're running and how big of a vehicle you have so we got your shock here you're gonna fill this up
Okay. Fill it up just until it's ready to get to the top there. You can kind of see. Right. It's just right there. If I were to dab my finger in it, it's like right there. So now we got to get these air bubbles out. It may not look like there's any in there, but there still could be at the bottom. I'm going to take the bottom eyelet and just slowly press up. Up, up, up. It's nice and easy. So I it's coming all the way up, 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 up. And now the plunger's at the top there. You can probably kind of see it poking out. And now you're just going to take it right back down. Real slow. Okay. And you can't see it, but I can. As soon as I started pulling it down, it was releasing little air bubbles so you're just coming down nice and easy all the way to the bottom all right so you can look and if there's any in the top you can just dab it with your finger and it should release them bubbles otherwise now what we're going to do is push it right back up about a quarter or three quarters of the way back up okay something like there all right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cap and we're gonna put that right back on and just see the other side lots of them will have a little bleeder hole right in the side and it just pop you know, it just squeezes right out. So, all you gotta do now is just take and take your rag and clean it up. Okay. There we have it. Make sure you snug that top cap up real good, and you're good to go. Okay. So we can put our uh, springs back on. Perfect. Okay. okay. Now we got this done. Let's get the other three going.
So now you got your shock all good to go. It's nice and smooth. Okay. Get your spring put on. Get the end cap. Alright. Now we again just give it a compress it. See how it works. It's working pretty well. Like I say, it's all about just you know testing what's best for you and your driving condition. Okay guys. Alright, that's about it for this how-to video. Catch you guys next time. Thanks. Take care.